In the past weeks, the Indonesian Composite Index has been nearing its all-time high record levels of 6,000, 6,600, sorry, 6,689, which it hit back in February 2018, 2018. Will it reach that record level soon? And what are the factors behind it? To discuss more, we are going to talk to Dr. Gemma Guriadi, the CEO and founder of Astronachi International. Hi, Mas Gemma. It's a pleasure to have you back on the show. Hi. So, Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, thank you very much. So, uh, yeah. So take us take us through what's been happening on uh, in the Indonesian stock exchange. The Indonesian Composite Index has been on a bullish trend, strengthening for six weeks in a row. What's your projection for this coming week? Yeah, that's great. Since the early 2021, I already believe that we're moving in major um, bullish rally, but we're stuck in um, a sideways movement, mm -hmm. and it looks likely. The impulsive five waves rally already unfolding, and we're at the wave three of five of bullish rally. Mm -hmm. And if you're talking about whether or not we're going to be all time high, I believe so, uh, because we have the major target price of this Takara Composite Index at 7,300 mm -hmm. that will be achieved next year, and um, the minimum target will be 6,975. So if we are looking for um, mm -hmm. The 6, uh, 6,693, that will be our major resistance, I believe that will be hit. So mm -hmm. we're still on the bullish mode. We believe that the major uh, bullish trends will remain strong and the investors ca can look for a buy on weakness strategy. Okay. So w what are the factors behind it? So you're agreeing with, with, you know, some analysts have been predicting that the IDX can even reach a level of 6,800 by the end of the year. You said the resistance will be around 6,900. So uh, basically you are agreeing that it will, we will go that, that direction. But what are the factors behind it, do you think, that will support this prediction? Yeah, I'm agree. I even started all the bullish perspective even the early of this year, of course. I, I'm going to put my call into a bullish and 6,900 will be my target for the short term, right? Mm -hmm. And then the major reason is we know that the, the lockdown now is really soft. That's number one. And number two, looking to our macroeconomic indicator, um, all the lockdown, all the coronavirus stuff is already priced in. And we have pretty strong domestic um, numbers of macroeconomy now. And also the rupiah is pretty stable at 14,200 to 300 or even lower like 14,050. Mm. Based on that numbers, I believe that there will be no distraction on the economy itself. Then the capital market will rose higher. Okay, uh, we will go to um, the nearest resistance or even break the all time high. Mm. And also if you're looking to the major stocks, the, the big caps in, in Indonesia is like BCA, BRI, all yeah. the banking stocks, they yeah. book um, the new profit records in the Q3, I believe, like BCA. So the, the foreign investors will get more um, interested to buy some blue chip stock in Indonesia. That will be the main reason why we're going to be all-time high soon. Okay, the blue chips you said. But many are also saying, let's, let's focus on this week, many are also saying that for this week, investors should watch out for banking stocks, that there will be selling of banking stocks after positive performance last week. Do you agree with this? And what other sectors should investors watch out for this week? Yeah, let's take a look to the Jakarta Composite Index itself. I guess the price will be moving into a sideways, like a short period of sideways, maybe five to eight trading days, and the banking stocks will get an, um, will, will will jump into a cor minor correction, mm -hmm. from which we can start to looking for a buy opportunity because we cannot enter with this kind of price, right? Uh, like BMRI and then BRI, we are waiting for at least 5 to 6% uh, dip or correction, then we're going to jump in back to the market mm -hmm. um, because we have like pretty strong target price like 7,600 for BMRI and then uh, 4,700 for BRI for the next 30 days. So before the end of this, uh, this year, uh, we put a target 7,600 for BMRI. So mm -hmm. any price decline and meet the shortest uh, support level is the buy opportunity. Then we're going to wait until the correction is ended, and then we will buy back the stocks. Okay. So, and which other sectors do you think investors, investors should watch out for this week? 
Okay, I, I like the coal stocks. I think the coal, um, the energy, especially in coal, will remain strong uh, despite a major corrections that will happen now until the next two weeks. But I guess like ITMG will be our main stocks for, for that. And then banking, of course, that will lead the market. Manufacture, and we'll talk about the technology. So the technology could be like from the technology stock or the banking with the technology background, like mm -hmm. digital banking, that also will remain strong. And also the manufacturer like Astra International, um, that will also be a major reason for uh, the JCI to rise higher. Okay, so those are the stocks that you're you're favorable. I mean, you're you're favoring right now. Those are the sectors that you're looking out yeah. for. Uh, so, talk to right. us about the uh, the record level high that we are experiencing right now. Uh, it hit back in February 2018, which was uh, 6,689. That was back in February 2018. Uh, how yeah. about this week? Will will it reach that level or exceed that record level this week? Okay, it's. Pretty easy to break the, that resistance, right? But we're focusing more into the consolidation that already happened since 18 October until now. This looks like the JCI make a small little base formation and consolidation over there. And we can expect the minor correction, I think it's not lower than 6,450 uh, when the price reaches that level, it will collect the new demand level. A lot of buyers will come back. And um, I think that will be the next trip go beyond the 6700 i think i think that was that will be the good plan and the most conservative one uh, mm -hmm. instead of looking for um, the all time high in immediate time but let's give a little moment for jci to do a little consolidation to collect okay. more buyers and then just uh, give like a very strong north shoot mm -hmm. to the new level of all time high okay so what, what what can investors do right now? I mean, you you agree we are in, in in a in a bullish trend. Like, what what can investors do? What kind of strategy do you think they should employ uh, during these times? Okay, yeah. Normally in JCI, uh, the October is not uh, this strong. Okay, mm -hmm. but 2020 because of the vaccine, the Joe Biden effect, and and the omnibus law. Um, it gave a power to the market and also this year. But remember, the next will be uh, the th Thanksgiving. The U.S. market will be move even stronger. And also the, when the sun moves in Capricorn cycle on the 21st December, that will be the start of the new mega bullish rally until at least the first quarter of 2022. Mm -hmm. Then that will be the next extended of bullish mm -hmm. trend. So the strategy for the, for the investor, we're now on the very strong bullish year, bullish market. Months, get ready to prepare your cash and buy on weakness when you get a chance on the blue chip stocks and focus more on the sectors that um, get a hype now. Mm. So any sectors based on the tech, based on the banking, and then let's see in a call because the China is the key level, um, the, the, the key point of our investors to look after the, the call. So when China gives a good news about a call, I believe another 10 to 15 percent for the coal stocks will happen, uh, the upside, I mean. So that's the strategy, the strategy buying weakness and looking for the sectors. That's the most important part. Okay. And, and is this going to be your projection towards the end of this year as well? Which sectors do you think will see the most increase? Yeah, I think banking, um, uh, banking and then coal, that will be my best pick for um, the end of this year. Okay, so let's talk back about some of the factors that maybe investors need to watch out for. Uh, you said that pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic is an issue, but it's not so much anymore. So what are the factors that, that uh, investors should look out for in terms of, of, of uh, the sentiment towards the market in Indonesia? Okay, just beware on the end of November, like the, uh, the week three or uh, the, the fourth week of November. Um, there will be a little chance for the, the third outbreak, okay? People already talk about it, and as investors, we're going to uh, be ready for that. When you know there's an um, increment of the COVID infection number at the end of November, mm -hmm. then another correction should happen. And if that happens, you have to know that the major trend of police will not change. But 
there will be like a little shock, maybe a week of corrections, about five to six percent max on the JCI. Uh -huh. Then you should be uh, be ready for take your profits and then get ready to buy on weakness. Um, that's only my consideration on that. Um, looking for others like states or China, mm -hmm. um, the tapering. Okay, the tapering. The uh, the Fed already informed that whether on the mid-November or the mid-December, they will announce about the tapering. Mm -hmm. But remember, once they do the tapering, it means the U.S. economy already strong and we don't get better with that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that states will increase the Fed rate. It's two different things. So I guess it's already priced in, but the market will get into more volatile yeah. when the tapering happens in mid-November. In November. Okay, that's those, those are things that we should look out for. It was such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you again for coming to this show. Dr. Gemma Guriari, the CEO and founder of Astro Nachi International. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with more news at Jakarta Movers and Shakers.